Blue Flight 292 with that front nose gear pointed sideways. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Cody. When I was in pilot training, an instructor once told me, pilots aren't just paid to fly planes. Pilots are paid to safely bring a plane back during an emergency or abnormal situation. I don't know what it is about that simple statement, but it's changed the way I approach my aviation career and how I think about handling emergencies. Despite this, I've always had a couple of questions about declaring emergencies, but I've never really taken a deep dive into how to declare an emergency and what exactly I'm supposed to say. So strap in, because today of episode two on Toolkit, we're talking about emergency procedures, declarations, and the difference between mayday, 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 and pan, 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 pan. So there you are cruising around when suddenly, boom, bird strike. You manage to get the aircraft into a stable configuration, come up with a plan to recover to a nearest airfield, but now, how do you accurately communicate with controlling agencies what you intend to do and how they can best use their resources to help you? According to IKO rules, the official way to declare an emergency is through the use of the words mayday, mayday, mayday. By using the term mayday, you've now indicated that your aircraft is in a state of distress. According to the Department of Defense Flight Information Handbook, a state of distress is when you are threatened by a serious and or imminent danger and require immediate assistance. Some examples given include ditching, crash landing, or abandoning the aircraft. Now let's see what that sounds like in action. That's Mayday, 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 Speedbird 38 Papa. We have a engine shut down. We are continuing to Sparky. It'll be a right turn direct to the Willy, that's the India Whiskey Alpha, climbing 6,000 feet. And we'll take up the hold of the India Whiskey Alpha. We'll let you know further in time. Stand by. It should be noted that because of cultural and language barriers, using the phrase declaring an emergency may not be understood in all parts of the world. Using the term mayday, mayday, mayday will carry weight no matter where you're flying. But what if you're flying and you find yourself in a situation that's not quite as serious as an emergency? Well, you can use pan, 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 pan to signify that you're in an urgent condition. According to the FIH, an urgent condition is defined as a condition that concerns the safety of an aircraft, vehicle, person on board or within sight that does not require an immediate assistance. Some given examples include being lost, having a fuel shortage, partial engine failure, or other issues of similar nature. According to the AIM, an aircraft is in at least an urgency condition the moment that a pilot becomes doubtful about the position, fuel endurance, weather, or any other condition that could adversely affect flight safety. Now let's see the real world application of this. Ten, 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 ten. We have a massive bird strike, uh, issues are under vibration. Watch your heavy arc, one, two, two, that is copied. Uh, you can maintain this frequency for the time, standing by for information, all remains available. Ten, 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 ten. In order to declare a distress or urgent condition, the FIH urges all pilots to transmit as many of the following elements as necessary. Mayday, 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 or pan, 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 pan. The name of the station you're addressing, aircraft identification and type, nature of the distress or urgency, the current weather you're experiencing, your intentions, any requests, your present position and heading, altitude or flight level, fuels in hours and minutes, number of souls on board, and any other helpful or relevant information that you can provide. At a minimum, pilots need to transmit aircraft identification and type, nature of the emergency, and the pilot's desires. Time permitting, when the decision to bail out or crash land has been made, pilots are urged to transmit ELT status, nearby landmarks, aircraft color, emergency equipment available on board, 
and if able, set their radio for continuous transmission for bailout and for crash landing. You as a pilot have the responsibility to use Mayday or PAN anytime there's any type of aviation related emergency, even if it's not your own aircraft. Let's see what that looks like. Mayday, 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 Stupid 11, Juliet, there's an Airbus on um, the terminal of the Whiskey Alpha with a fire underneath the engine. Gate 29. Roger that. Gate 29, sir, gate 29. Gate 29, thank you. We'll get the uh, rescue trucks over there momentarily. Fire under the right engine, sir. Fire under the right engine, thank you. Attention all emergency equipment. Respond to gate 29 at terminal 5. According to the FAA, if confusion exists as to whether or not a declaration of emergency was made or whether or not a declaration of emergency should be made, the pilot, controlling facility personnel, or officials responsible for the operation of the aircraft have the jurisdiction to declare an emergency for the situation. Once an emergency has been declared, the pilot in command of an aircraft is directly responsible for and is the final authority as to the operation of their aircraft. In an emergency requiring immediate action, the pilot in command may deviate from any rule to the extent required to meet that emergency. It should be noted that if emergency authority is exercised and used to deviate from the provisions of an ATC clearance, the pilot in command must notify the ATC as soon as possible and obtain an amended clearance. If unable to establish two-way radio communication or SA is lost as to who they should be talking to, pilots should broadcast all of this information on guard frequency. Guard frequency is an internationally recognized protected emergency radio frequency. On UHF, that frequency is 243.0 MHz. On VHF, that frequency is 121.5 MHz. These numbers should be memorized by every pilot. The last thing you have if you cannot establish communication with anybody is to squawk 7700. This is an internationally protected squawk and indicates emergency in any airspace. Okay, so you've got their attention using Mayday 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 or Pan 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 Pan. Now what? Well first of all, you should understand that the controlling agencies are there to help you. Here's a few things the controlling agencies can do to provide that help. First of all, if you're able to tell them what your current range is, they can help you find a suitable airport. In addition to that, they're able to provide information as far as the airport condition, nav aid status, and any applicable notums that might be of concern to you. Another tool at your disposal is to coordinate with the controller to contact via single frequency. This reduces pilot workload because you don't have to worry about changing frequencies as you contact additional controlling agencies. Arabia Morocco 122, discrete frequency, 131, that's small 155. 121, this is number 155, Thank you. All in all, air traffic controllers should never hurt your situational awareness. They should always be an asset and a tool that you can use to help safely get back to the ground. Well, that's it. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. You're now aware of the difference between Mayday 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 and Pan 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 as well as the details about how to communicate your emergency or urgency status to controlling agencies. Just another tool to add in your toolkit. Cactus 15.9, turn left lane 270. Uh, this is uh, Cactus 1539, hit birds through Floss Thrust and Felt Pits. It's returning back towards LaGuardia. Okay, uh, you need to return to LaGuardia. Turn left heading of uh, 220. 220. Sorry, stop your departure. It's got emergency returning. Oh, it's 1529. He, he uh, bird strike. He lost all engine. He lost the thrust in the engines. He's returning immediately. Cactus 1529. Which engines? He lost thrust in both engines. He said. Got it. Cactus 1529. We can get it for you. Do you want to try to land one three one three? We're unable. We may end up in the Hudson. Joint 2760. Turn left zero seven zero. I'm just on 2760. I cactus 15.9, it's going to be left traffic to runway 31. Unable. Okay, what do you need to land? Cactus 
Mike. I did 15.9. Runway 4 is available if you want to make left traffic to runway 4. Idiot. Okay, I'm not I'm sure we're making any runway. Um, what's the word to our right? Anything in New Jersey? Maybe Teterboro? Okay, yeah. Off your right side is Teterboro Airport. Do you want to try to go to Teterboro? Yes. Teterboro, uh, Empire. Actually, LaGuardia departure guy, emergency inbound. Hey, guys. Jack is 1529 over the George Washington Bridge. Wants to go to the airport right now. Going to the airport. Jack, does he need assistance? Uh, yes. He, uh, it was a bird strike. Can I get him in for, uh, runway one? Runway one, that's good. Jack is 1529. Turn right 280. He can land runway right. one at Teterboro. We can't do it. Okay, which runway would you like at Teterboro? We're going to be in the I'm sorry, say again, Cactus. Alright. Kelly 2760, contact New York 126.8. 2760, Kelly 2760. Cactus, uh, Cactus 1549, radar contact is lost. You also got Newark Airport off your 2 o'clock in about 7 miles. Eagle 5, 4718, turn left lane 210. 210, uh, 4718. I don't know, I think he said he was going to the Hudson. Cactus 1529, uh, Houston. Cactus 1529, if you can, uh, you got, uh, runway, uh, 29 available at Newark, will be 2 o'clock in some miles. Eagle 5, 4718, climb 18, 1, 2000. Okay, 1,000 and uh, five at the weekend. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, leave a comment. Let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Or just send some love my way. See ya.